Hello. How are you? I'm doing tremendously amazing. Thanks for asking. Wow. I'm glad to hear you're doing tremendous. <laughs> um, what about you? What's the good word? I think of a great word after you say tremendous. <laughs> so my name is Victoria. What is your name? My name is Baku. Baku? Exactly. Perfect. I'm glad I said it right. Well, it's a pleasure to meet you, Baku. Yeah, so good to see you as well, miss. Um, so for today's lesson, did you want to cover um conversation topics? Uh, yes, miss. You know, before that, I would like to have a short introduction, and then we will show directly go on topic something. Okay. So for the introduction, did you want me to start, or would you like to start? Uh, I would like to go first, miss. Okay. So as you know, my name is Boku. Basically, I'm a student. And in a nutshell about my hobbies, I like to bring out in nature and I am into reading books. Thank you. That's awesome. Thank you for sharing. Um, so like I also mentioned, my name is Victoria. I live in California, in the United States. Um, on my free time, I really enjoy studying. <laughs> Since I am also a student and I'm also learning a language, mm -hmm. so a lot of my time is dedicated to studying. Um, when I have free time, I really like to go on walks and play board games with my family. That sounds fantastic. Thank you. Mm -hmm. I think it is fantastic. <laughs> uh -huh. Which language are you learning with? I'm actually learning Chinese. Chinese. I'm very difficult. Um, mm -hmm. Yeah, so I spend a lot of my time trying my best to learn it. Miss, um, if I ask you, if I ask you, may I ask you, why are you learning in Chinese? Like, what is the importance of Chinese in today's world? The importance of learning Chinese is because I actually want to move to Taiwan or China to teach English. Mm -hmm. So, if I want to move to a country where their main language is Chinese, I do need to be able to speak it. Mm -hmm. That makes a ton of sense. <laughs> Good, I'm glad. <laughs> yeah, so, um, definitely a challenge, but I'm getting there. Mm -hmm. But anyways. Exactly. So, yeah. <laughs> so um, what type of conversation topics did you want to talk about today? Miss, uh, may you give me some little bit time for choosing something? Of course. Oh, so nice of you. <laughs> no problem. Excuse me. Okay. I want to do this one. Most hated words in English. Most hated English words. Okay. Interesting. Okay, so for uh, this article, did you want to start with exercise one? Miss, you know, I have read that article already, so you know, I would li like to go directly on the question, and there is a one word which I don't know correct pronunciation. I want to know pronunciation from you. 
Okay. Sure. Um, so let me just make sure I understand. You want to go over vocabulary pronunciation? Uh, miss, you know, I don't know uh, like pronunciation of this word. Would you like to tell me, please? Yes, phlegm. Phlegm. Mm -hmm. Phlegm. Phlegm. Am I right pronunciation? I think you said it better the first time. Uh huh. So okay. just phlegm. Phlegm. There you go. Yeah. Okay. Exactly. Uh, it's a, a little bit different, like a flam and like flame. Flam and uh, flame. There is not, uh, isn't a much difference, like E or something di different. In, I think the only, the only thing with this word is you're not trying to say the G. That's pretty much it. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Correct. Flam. So, Ms. Okay. why there is G silent here? That's a good question. Um, I'm not completely sure. Mm -hmm. Phlegm. Ph phlegm? Yeah, I don't really know why the G is silent. Uh -huh. um, yeah, I'll have to do some investigative work and let you know. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah. Hmm. I don't really teach you that in English. <laughs> <laughs> I think it has to do something with um, the original word coming from a Latin background. Uh -huh. And just um, the pronunciation kind of evolves or the G just gets silent. Mm -hmm. So maybe back thousands of years ago, Mm -hmm. <laughs> they pronounced it with a G sound, but not anymore. <laughs> <laughs> why it is happen that now? Like why they are not pronunciation no more? Like I think it's just because, um, like, like I mentioned, the word itself has a Latin background. I think it be belongs from the French. French. May you please write it down this like a blanch or something you have say here. What was that? Like a blanch or, or something you are saying something. Word. Oh. Uh -huh. All I'm saying is that phlegm, I'm type it phlegm. Phlegm. Comes from a Latin background. Uh -huh. Specifically. Specifically, France, and over time, pronunciation in different different countries uh -huh. change the way this, the word is said. Exactly, Miss. Totally. Yep. You know, uh, I have seen that. Uh, you know, I am much more comfortable talking with native people, like USA people. But, uh, you know, sometimes, like, uh, I can talk with, like, UK people also. But, you know, for making an impression, for having a smooth conversation for me, like, uh, USA people are best for me. Mm. That's so nice. <laughs> uh -huh. um, yeah, I feel like it, the British... English is sometimes a little bit more difficult, uh -huh. um, especially because they have a lot of words I feel like are slang. Uh -huh. um, and I personally think their accents might be a little bit harder to, to understand. Uh -huh. Exactly. Uh, you yeah. know, uh, like uh, I think uh, I presume that. Uh, uh, American accent is a uh, little bit smoother and like naturally, like in a rhythm way. Uh, but you know, in uh, that uh, accent is a little bit uh, like uh, complicated something. Just take example. Uh, in American English, we say like tutor, tutor, and they say tuta, tuta. What? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think like the time I hear someone from England speak, 
I always have to laugh because the way they say things is quite funny. Uh-huh. Um, kind of like my example is like in America we say schedule, right? Totally, this one. <laughs> I have no clue what you say. <laughs> and they say schedule. <laughs> like schedule also this is like something schedule schedule like exactly yeah i always i remember hearing that and i thought that doesn't sound right <laughs> <laughs> exactly and like you know in india we say uh, uh, there is a little uh, so much difference you will say like uh, what they say in india like most of commonly people say uh, schedule schedule they include d also it's like a mixture of english uh-huh. and british english <laughs> <laughs> exactly that's cool i like that i think i'm gonna start saying schedule like that now <laughs> <laughs> all right boku so do you have any other questions about pronunciation um i don't think so i have another question i would like to go on the uh, exercise number three okay so question one of exercise three what are your thoughts on the most hated english words mentioned in the article what are my thoughts uh, you can say um, there isn't much i don't find this word like a much uh, like disgusting like hated word this word are so like familiar to me and doesn't uh, make me like feel hated like disgusting good <laughs> mm-hmm. um yeah i'm looking at the words that they said were gross i don't know why but moist became very popular um the most popular word that people hated to say or hear mm-hmm. i don't know why it doesn't really bother me <laughs> me too that's why i'm saying that that makes no time impression on something me because no some people just say uh, randomly following and just another people are following like people are hating uh, like moist word so i don't think so i have to just hate it because i don't think it. there is a i find something which is hating for me i don't find anything in that word yeah same it's very strange also with the word phlegm doesn't bother me <laughs> i think having phlegm is disgusting but uh, saying the word is not <laughs> exactly yeah um and then synergy isn't something that i actually hear too often so and then it doesn't bother me either uh, may you please uh, uh, tell me a little bit about synergy word What was that? Uh, synergy word. Synergy. This one. Synergy? Exactly. Yeah. What about it? Yes, ma'am. Yeah. Oh. Uh, you want me to say it again? Uh, sure, please. Synergy. Synergy. Mm-hmm. Synergy. Synergy. Yeah, you got it. Yeah, I think the only time I ever hear this word is when somebody's talking about the drink. <laughs> okay. There's a drink here that has that t- name, but other than that you don't really hear it. Like it is a type of uh, alcohol alcoholic drink or like uh, just a uh, smooth drink. No, have you ever heard of kombucha? Kombucha, I think so. Yeah, so it's supposed to be a probio- probiotic drink that's good for your gut. <laughs> uh-huh. Um so it's good for your stomach basically. Um and kombucha has become very popular and synergy is a kombucha drink. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Kind of tastes like feet, but it's kind of good. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah. Um However, I did agree in the article when it talks about the most annoying word is when people say whatever. <laughs> yeah. 
Okay. Um, I think I, this word is like a, so like a annoying word, like whatever. Yes, I feel like when I hear teenagers saying it, it bugs me. Uh huh. Like when teenagers are like whatever. Miss, you know, you have used something expression or something like bugs me. Uh, as I can uh, presume, it means like uh, annoy. Am I right? Bugs me. Yes. Mm-hmm. May you please write it down? Yes, of course. So, bugs me. Uh, I'm gonna say it bugs me. An expression used to convey being annoyed. <laughs> Yes. Mm-hmm. <laughs> so, I agree with the article with that one. Okay. And like, like is also another annoying one. Yeah, they got those right. Hit the. Uh-huh. Yeah, it was, it was great. <laughs> uh, you know, sometimes uh, I watch uh, American shows like that late night uh, show with Jimmy Fallon or something, and uh, mm-hmm. Alan show, and sometimes uh, there is a person use like many times like like like. No, if you use it one more time, like then it is not going to be good. Mm-hmm. Yes, I know a lot of English teachers really hate this word, uh, just because it's used so much. I remember my English teacher would um, what was the word I'm looking for? She would get i think she would make us stay like a minute after class depending on how many times we would say the word like uh-huh, exactly you know this is one of the my best discourse master for having a smooth conversation like coherent con- conversation <laughs> nowadays i am using uh, try to use little bit less as much as i can but you can say when I started my journey, this is one of the my best, you can say, helpful word. And I'm not going to say it is, I am disliking this one. This is the word like who helps me a lot, a lot, turn off. It's a very easy word to use, which I get. But once you become uh-huh. more advanced with English, I think more people want you to say other things than like <laughs> even, even even natives use this word i want to tend more focus on native speech or something and they they are using like in their daily life like most of them yeah of course uh-huh. but if you use like after each like word like it's really like annoying <laughs> purely couldn't agree more with you yeah but if you use it just every once in a while, then it makes sense and it's not annoying. Uh, Miss, you know, uh, I want to cover up this question like you faster as much as possible. Then we can complete this discussion. Okay. Um. So question two, yes? Uh-huh. So question two, are there any English words that you particularly dislike? Uh... Uh, I like, I dislike uh, this one, discombobulate, discombobulate. I don't even, what? <laughs> uh, uh, it is a type of, you know, say for like annoying or something, like when you are bothering someone, you can say like discombobulate, when it's like a chaotic situation for you, like you can say I'm discombobulate something. Oh, discombobulated? Discombobulated something. <laughs> yeah, I think that's a fun word to say. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Discombobulated, but yeah, I can see why you dislike it. Hey, um, know, okay. Alan asked the same word to Sofia Vergara of Modern Family, and <laughs> Sofia Vergara said, You are making my English bad. <laughs> I need to see that. That's funny. <laughs> exactly. I need to look that up. Okay, let's move on to question three. In your opinion, what are the most beautiful sounding English words? What is the most uh, beautiful sounding English? You know, there are number of, and uh, if you like to listen my number of, uh, then I will tell you. 
number of words I like most? Go ahead, give me at least one. Uh huh. Like uh, first one is oh yeah. What? Have you heard Why? that? Oh yeah. That is something. Yeah. Else. And what is like pom 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 pom? Pom pom. Exactly. Like cheerleaders. Cheerleaders also use pom pom. Oh my goodness. I was thinking something like Aurora Borealis, but oh yeah, and pom pom. Interesting. Okay. <laughs> and one more. Uh, Ozzy, Ozzy, Ozzy. Oi, oi, oi. Oh my goodness. <laughs> this is the family. greatest answer. Uh-huh. Thank you for that. That made my day. <laughs> <laughs> what about you, Miss? I would like to hear also. Um, most beautiful sounding English words. Um, I don't have any. I can't think of any. I like. I think I said um, Aurora Borealis. I think that's really like fun to say. Uh-huh. It just sounds beautiful. So I think that will be my favorite English word. Exactly. That makes us sense. When you heard about Aurora Borealis, I feel like that I'm in heaven. Something like lightning. upon my head and it's uh, i am completely away from this uh, world yeah exactly something awe inspiring mm-hmm. okay so let's go to question 4 what words or phrases in your language do you find annoying what are words uh, and in my own language like native language or english language native language Native language. The you know uh, there is a one is slang uh, becoming popular here, and I would like to tell you, you know, okay, like uh, when people are driving so crazy and fast, uh, like uh, some people say, are you going to uh, extinguish extinguish fire? Like are you going to extinguish fu- fire? you have to uh-huh. like it means like you have to go much faster and then you have to go for extinguish fire there is a fire going on and you have to extinguish uh, there is a something slang here going on it's a, a really new one here really interesting uh huh and that makes a sense also like totally if you are like so in hurry like when there is a uh, like a fire is going on you have to do go much faster go much faster but you know people are just randomly uh, uh, driving their bike like riding on their bikes or driving their cars like so on high speed like some people say uh, do you have in much hurry are you going to uh, extinguish fire of your home something that's funny ha uh-huh. ha interesting thank you for sharing that ha uh-huh. exactly yeah. Yeah. okay so I don't think we have enough time but we can try. So the last question, what do you imagine are the most hated words in your language? What are the most hated words in my language? What will I say? The the Uh, this one like uh, do whatever you want uh, if i say in like native language you will not under- uh, understand like uh, do whatever ever you want i'm not care uh uh-huh. uh-huh. it's kind of like whatever exactly makes us interesting well thank you boku for sharing and you know we I'm say sorry. like uh, when we are not cared about anything we say भाड़ में जा समथिंग भाड़ में जा मीन्स लाइक गो अवे इन समथिंग लाइक वेल और फ्लड लाइक भाड़ में जा वी आर नॉट केयरिंग अबाउट गो अवे आई एम नॉट केयरिंग अबाउट सो मीन गो अवे गो अवे इंटरेस्टिंग वेल थैंक यू अगेन बोकू फॉर शेयरिंग इट लुक्स लाइक आर लेसन टाइम हैज गॉन ओवर बट 
I'm really sorry we didn't get to finish all of the exercises, but I really enjoyed talking with you. Your English is excellent. I really appreciate your use of large vocabulary words. Uh -huh. So just keep practicing as much as you can, okay? Yeah, it's just a cause of like a teacher like you. If I don't understand anything, I'm just uh, surely ask. I'm not facing like any type of difficulty to ask and every day I'm going to be much better version of myself than previous day. Awesome. And keep using the words that you keep learning, okay? Just, just as you give me a new one, like bug something, I will jot it down on my uh, notebook. Perfect. Awesome. awesome. Alright, thank you so much. Uh, before ending up the lesson, I want to know what's your favorite word? My favorite word? Uh huh. Oh man, my favorite word would have to be periwinkle. Periwinkle, can you please write it down? <laughs> yeah. It's actually a color, periwinkle. Sure. You know, Mr. Before uh, ending the conversation, I would like to tell you, uh, you are such an, uh, this lesson is impeccable. Like I have gained uh, a plethora of knowledge of like words and like expression something, and I didn't feel like a little bit like subtle time in uh, like a difficulty to understand you. You are doing tremendously amazing. Just uh, you made my day. You made my. You day. made my day. No, you made my day. See you soon. <laughs> Thank you, Papu. Wonderful day with full of blossom. Oh, you too.